All right, guys, they're playing some Nessus top lane into a Fiora. And I'm going to showcase you guys exactly on how strong Nessus is in this patch. So anyway, what we have is Fleet, Triumph, Tenacity, Elastant, Biscuits, Cosmic. And then we also have a Dorn Shield, mainly because uh, Fiora can press Q all day. She can poke us a lot. So in most of the matchups, I would definitely encourage you to always... Um, always have the um, Dorn's Ring. However, some matchups like this one, you're just going to have to get a Dorn Shield. There's no way to avoid it. Um, it really depends on the amount of poke. Like if they have like an uh, Elawi, for example, that's like poke, but you can still go D-Ring. If you are, for example, against a cannon, that's why I would also recommend the shield. It really depends. Good start by her. She got to level 2. So the plan is that we're going to be rushing the Lucidity Boot slash Warhammer Kindle Gym setup. And we're going to be speedrunning the stacks. And then around level 6 and beyond that, we're going to start outscaling the Fiora. And at that point, we're going to start snowballing the matchup. So as for the start of the match, we're pretty much scaling. We're not going to be fighting Fiora, obviously. It's a very rare like occurrence to get like a kill on Fiora. It's very hard to do. Fiora completely beats Nasus at the start of the match. Um, at least it really depends too on like how Fiora is like positioning and stuff like that. But in general, like this matchup is very hard to play out. I'm gonna keep my stack available for the cannon. Not bad from her. There you go. Got my stacks. So yeah, we're definitely gonna take some damage at the start of the match, but. It's all okay, like, taking damage is not a bad thing since we have the D-Shield. We also drain the mana from Fiora by doing so. Didn't get the stack. Not worth it. This guy is running Teleport. So if, whether we kill him or not, he will get back to lane. Yeah. Good catch. Get some stacks while we can. The Fiora will definitely teleport back. I'm pretty sure he will. We'll get the stacks that we can. Then we back off with my, with my teleport. We absolutely refuse to let Fiora like freeze this. We're not going to do that. So no worries. The guy seems pretty smart for like trying to prevent me. All right, no problem. So we're going to head back here. The first thing I buy is always going to be Lucidity Boots in matchups where it's uh, allowing us to do it. Lucidity Boots is one of the best purchases because you can um, you can get the 20 ability haste pretty much instant. Um, plus the movement speed, which is all valuable stuff. Um, plus it also reduces the some spell cooldown. Oh, I missed that one too. That sucks. Nice, got it. Just going to shuffle our tower. We had to go for the teleport, unfortunately, because the wave was bouncing into Fiora. And if she decides to like, freeze the wave, then I will lose too much. So the teleport was needed. There's like no avoiding it. Well, we're not going to lose too much. I don't use my W because there's an animation that goes off when you use it. And it actually makes it so that I'm more gankable. They will be able to catch me if I press my W there because like this half a second animation um, is enough for them to like catch on me. That's why I just kept running like um, to my tower, just not doing anything. Let's get the proc here. Nice. If you can get the fleet proc, you should always use it anytime you can because then you can charge the next proc immediately afterwards. I'm going to place a ward down here. This is a very important ward because this tells me... Uh, really? Am I getting permacamp? Is that what's going on? I need my level 6 right now. I'm going to get ganked again, I think. 
Well, if I get my level 6. Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm almost there. Oh, I was trying to last hit the creep for level 6, and I didn't get it when she jumped. Like, that's tilting. That was way too close. Don't know if you noticed it, but... I was extremely close to getting it. I almost died because of it. That's about some insane permacamp by the Nunu, by the way. The Nunu and Fiora are really trying to prevent me from snowballing it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, sure. No problem with me. I want to shove the wave, but the problem is that we don't have insane wave clear. So it's usually not worth, like, rushing the wave too fast. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to, like, build up the wave. Yep, she's back already. Nice. All we have to do is reset this wave. Get it out of the way. That's the bone plating from her. She will go for the all-ins here. I'm gonna have to try something out. I need to reset this wave. Nice. You should absolutely never leave the wave in front of the tower from your opponent because if there is a possibility that you can reset that wave, you absolutely have to do it. In one way or another, you have to do it because if you don't do it, you will actually fall behind insanely far. It's something you want to avoid at all costs if you can. Um, so like, there's like multiple ways of doing it. Either you build up the wave massively from here and then you shove it under a tower. That's like the one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, or depending on the champion you play, you can you know poke them down far enough and then push them under a tower. You have to find out a way either way. Um, if you let that wave be for what it is, you're gonna fall behind insanely hard because the second you come back to lane, it will still be frozen, and then on top of that, like you're you're gonna have lost so much XP that you can no longer play lane. This is what happens a lot. This is like one of the biggest mistakes that people make in the lane, like the number one thing. So be aware about this stuff. You don't want to fall behind in the, in that way. That's, it's not very good. Anyway, now we have lucidity boots. We have the warhammer combination, which means that now we can like start like. Super stacking very hard. For some kind of reason, they decide to lane swap and let the four and zero graves like play out my lane. What? What's going on here? Why would you lane swap? Why would you do that? I'm gonna beat this 4 and 0 guy. You're 4 and 0, but that doesn't change anything for me here. Like. Alright. <laughs> Another Nunu gank. We're getting permacamped as well. I can't see anything. Well, yeah, I guess, GG. Good swap. I'm gonna have to walk away from it. I absolutely cannot do anything. No. It's a very weird game for playing against a counter matchup, which is an okay thing, as you can see. Like, I have no problems with this, but... For some reason, they're lane swapping with a 4 and 0 Graves, and I'm also getting Permacam, so... It's a very weird way of uh, playing out my lane, I guess. I'm playing against like three people at the same time, which is very weird. But yeah, we're managing, like, we're not feeding anything. It's all good. Even the 4 and 0 Graves came in my lane. Didn't die to it. Alright, let's teleport back once again. This teleport 
is going to make me win the entire laning phase. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So now this is the point where I was talking about previously, except we're able to do it right now. Look, I can now freeze the wave. The Fiora has a lot of gold, but she's unable to buy any items. If she stays around, then she can fight me. If she does decide to buy items right now... Um, oh, she goes for the teleport. Well, in that case, it's not that bad still. It might not be that bad here. Because he can still 1v1 him. We got the Sheen. Yeah, this is certainly not bad. Nice. Good catch. In that case, it's different, but we still win. Now, all we have to do is shove out the lane as quickly as we can, and then we go back once again, and then we buy Define. An ally has been slain. We're like 12 minutes in the game, and we already have 204 stacks. Which is impressive, especially considering the matchup, that's one thing, but considering the amount of like permacamp, it's, this is really good. Nice. Perfect. And now we walk back. We have to go back. We cannot stay around again because we have 1.7k in the inventory. And um, Fiora would be able to beat us right now because we don't have the items. If we do come back with the items, uh, she will never ever stand a chance anymore. So um, let's go for two armor. It's like that's the biggest lesson I can give you guys. Always pay attention. Close attention to your items like you should always look to get like item advantages in one way or another it doesn't matter how if as long as you get the item advantage you're going to be winning most of the time um, if you have too much gold and you're not going back you're gonna trap yourself because the opponent can literally just keep you you know frozen in lane right it can keep you forced in the lane forever and on top of that, it's got complete pressure, so... Now you're going to start seeing the ultimate, like, strength of Nessus, because the early game is pretty much done right now. We've, we've, um... Find the skill through the early game. We haven't died even once against all the permacamp. Which is great. On top of that, we have the teleport coming back in about 25. So we can pretty much stack right now. Then within 20 seconds, we can go for a team fight. So all we're going to do right now is perma stack. We're going to build waves up. And then the very second that a team fight is going to appear around the map, we're going to instantly teleport to it and we're going to kill everybody. That's going to be the plan. We can also perma stack into Fiora right now. Uh, even if she appears in the lane, I can still perma stack. I hard win right now. This is going to be a tough one. Yep. That sucks, man. That Nunu is coming with the weirdest ganks. There are actually some really solid ganks from the Nunu. It's okay, though. It sucks that I died. If you get hit by the Nunu, you're going to get, you go, you're going to get the premise easy. <laughs> the guy will hit the, the ball and they just old. You can't really escape this. I think I might go for a teleport, as I don't want to lose the wave here. There's nothing, there's no objectives on the map anymore. My TP will come back in like 185, because we have Cosmic in the in the runes. So the cooldown is like very, very short. Again, we just perma stack. we take it very slowly. If, as you can see on the map, there's literally nothing happening. And if we push out this wave, nothing else is going to happen either so i'm just going to build it up if we build the wave up and we push it under a tower we can then go for for a flank that's going to work way better plus it, we're going to get more damage off of my q since we can stack like all of the last hits 
Probably Nunu is going to come back top. The blue buff is available. Yep. I doubt we can get it, but let's give it a try. Alright, we managed to get blue buff. That's an absolute game changer for me. Sure. Let me stack everything up again. Of course, the Nunu is on its way. I'm tired of seeing this Nunu the entire game. This guy's quite annoying. Unbelievable. What's going on, man? The perma game from these three people is, is insane. We've got Kale ultimate. No, she cast it on herself. Not very good, not very good. I need to have that kill ultimate. Would have been better. But anyway, it's okay because we get a kill. Again, we get stacks and we also waste the time with like the other people as well. And then we also have my teleport coming back in about 50 seconds. Only bad thing is that Drake is spawning in like 10 seconds and I may or may not be able to get there. But we can lock the Fjord from getting there too, so it's not that bad. So again, we get like multiple stacks. Yep, they will go Drake. They're gonna not have to fight for this. They just have to stop the Drake. Well, not, they just have to let the Drake go away. It's gonna be better. That Drake is not gonna make any difference for them, for them so it's okay. We almost have about 500 stacks, like 18 men. And we also have my teleport back now. Nice. We need to go for a back port. I'm gonna go for a teleport here. Yep, and we're about to get two kills for free. Yep, free kills. Yep, that's number one. And, well, she gets away. Let's get some more. 522 stacks, 90 minutes. We're becoming absolutely unstoppable. There's a fight apparently right behind me. So let's uh, go ahead, rotate for that. I don't need my ultimate to kill all of them because I got my stone plate ready. Yeah, time to get you. Thank you. Now let's go here. I actually need to get the blue buff. Thank you. The good thing is that my teleport is once again coming back in about 100 seconds. And it's all thanks to my cosmic and also my lucidity boots. That, that's why my cooldown on my teleport is so incredibly low. Because we have a combination of cooldown reduction uh, um, um, setup. Both from the item as well as the rune. Because the lucidity boots provide um, spell reduction as well. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Me and Master Yi are just like farming the game. Oh, I take the Penta. Well, <laughs> report me afterwards, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Like, me and Master Yi were, like, farming down the entire enemy team. Like, GG. This game is done. Hey, let me quickly get my reset. This is a fight that we shouldn't be taking. No. That was a great fight with Master Yi. Let's grab that one. And then after the jungle camp, we're gonna go instantly um, mid lane. Yep. Okay, let's go back. Let's go for a Thormill. Or we can go for a Frozen Heart, which is even a better, uh, a better option here, kind of. I like that idea. Let's go for a Frozen Heart, and then go for Kindle Gem. All right, let's go. Stone Plate to find Frozen Heart. Um, now we go for Spare Fazage, because Spare Fazage also provides 10 ability haste, and then also makes us uh, slightly more tanky again with the healing and all that stuff. <clears throat> I think we're going to pick up the red buff. Yeah, let's go. Drake is about to spawn. I don't think we have to go Drake, to be honest. We can just rush mid lane, because I got my ultimate and stuff. Yep, again. <laughs> Me and Master Yi were just farming the game. Let's go. <laughs> Nessus is absolutely broken late game, man. Yep, GG. Oh, the Massey died. Well, this game is done. Yep. Can <laughs> Nasus kill Matthew all in one team? <laughs> but yeah, hey, either way, this is Nasus Top. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube bit, and I'll see you next time. Peace.